the 16th of February. On this day we keep the memory of the holy martyr Pamphilius and his companions. The illustrious Pamphilius was a leader of this choir of twelve glorious martyrs, from different places and of different abilities, who together presented an image of the Church in all her diversity. Pamphilius, who came from Beirut in Syria, was the pupil of Origen's successor as head of the catechetical school of Alexandria. He had given away his fortune to the poor, and fled worldly glory in order to devote himself to the practice of a virtue and to meditating on the word of God. A fervent admirer and advocate of Origen's teaching, Pamphilius had left Alexandria for Caesarea in Palestine, where he was ordained priest and became director of the theological school founded by the great master. He lived like a martyr even before the outbreak of the persecution, mortifying all the pleasures of the flesh through ascetical struggles and devoting himself with unflagging zeal to the transcript and interpretation of Holy Scripture according to the allegorical method of his master origin. Pamphilius was arrested in 307 when the persecution of Maximinus Dyer was raging through the east. He was brought before Urban, the ruthless governor of Palestine, who, after inquiring into his knowledge of philosophy, ordered him to sacrifice to the idols. The holy priest bore torture with the steadfastness of an incorporeal being and was thrown into a goal. His fellow prisoners were the deacon Valens, a noble-looking old man, and Paul, who had endured a branding without flinching. They had been in prison together for two years by the time that five Christians from Egypt arrived at the gates of Caesarea. They were on their homeward journey after having accompanied some confessors of Christ deported to the mines of Cilicia. Questioned by the guards at the gates, they made no secret of their Christian faith. They were arrested as evildoers and brought before the governor of the city who had them tortured and interrogated. On being required to state their identity, instead of giving their usual names, they took to themselves the names of great prophets of the Old Testament. Elias, Jeremiah, Isaiah, Samuel and Daniel. And when the judge wanted to know where they came from, one of them answered, Jerusalem, alluding to Jerusalem which is above the city of the living God, the native land of all Christians. On hearing the old name of the rebellious city named Elia by the Romans, the earthbound judge decided that Christians were gathering there to conspire against the emperors. He ordered the holy martyr who had spoken to be flogged and then, seeing that he remained unshakable, condemned him and his four companions to be beheaded. His anger assuaged, the governor next had Pamphilius and his companions brought forth. They had already given proof of their steadfastness under torture, and when for the last time Firmilian, the governor, demanded their submission, the holy martyrs persisted in confessing the faith. They were therefore condemned to death like the others. As they were being led to execution, a young man emerged from the crowd and in a loud voice demanded the bodies of the martyrs for burial. The eighteen-year-old Porphyrius, a born servant and spiritual son of Pamphilius, was arrested there and then. The magistrate, crueler than a wild beast, consigned him to the tormentors, ordering them to lacerate his flesh to his very entrails. Dreadfully mangled, voiceless and all but lifeless, Porphyrius was condemned to be burned in a slow fire. He walked to his death like a victorious athlete, his face shone with divine grace and his eyes were fixed on heaven as he whispered his last instructions to his friends. 
tied to the stakes, he welcomed the flames eagerly, with deep breaths, and uttered not a word but to call Jesus, the Son of God, to his aid. Seleucus, a former soldier, who had left the army to tend suffering Christians, went to tell Pamphilius of how Porphyrius had fulfilled his martyrdom, and the soldiers seized him as he embraced another of the captive confessors. He was also brought before the governor, who straightway condemned him to death as well. A few moments later, Theodulus, Firmilian's venerable and pious old majordomo, made known his faith and love for the martyrs by a holy kiss, as Seleucus had done. He too was brought before the governor. He too was brought before the governor, who in a towering rage ordered him to be crucified, honouring him thereby with a death like that of the saviours. Meanwhile, Julian, a devout Cappadocian full of zeal in the Holy Spirit, who had returned to Caesarea after a journey, he hastened to where the bodies of the holy martyrs lay. He unfolded them in his arms and kissed them one by one in a transport of joy. And he too was arrested, and he too was brought before Firmilian the governor, who condemned him to death in a slow fire. And so, with supernatural joy and a loud thanksgiving to God, he joined the choir of the holy martyrs. After the martyrdom of Pamphilius, the leader of this glorious cohort, the impious governor gave orders that his body and those of his companions should be left where they lay as food for carnivorous animals. However, by God's providence, no animal came near the holy relics, which the Christians were then able to lay to rest with due honour. Glory to thee, O God, glory to thee, O heavenly King, the Comforter, the Spirit of Truth, who art everywhere present and fillest all things, treasury of blessings and giver of life, come and abide in us and cleanse us from every impurity and save our souls, O good one. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. O Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. O Lord, in their courageous contest for Thee, received as the prize the crowns of incorruption and life from Thee, our immortal God. For since they possess Thy strength, they cast down the tyrants and wholly destroy the demon strengthless presumption. O Christ God, by their prayer save our souls, since thou art merciful. When Israel of old traversed the gulf of the Red Sea dry shod, 
They turned back the might of Amalek in the wilderness by the hands of Moses, which formed the figure of the cross. O holy martyrs, pray to God for us. Bound together in the power of the All-Holy Spirit, the phalanx of twelve men persevering in patience, victoriously turned to flight the godless and wicked array of the empire. O holy martyrs, pray to God for us. The ill affected foe was put to shame when he assailed the prize-winning martyrs, for though the cunning one most cruelly emptied out his quiver, he availed not to overthrow the steadfastness of those excellent men. O holy martyrs, pray to God for us. With divine understanding he trampled down the wanton pride of Greek madness, O martyrs of Christ, and you are adorned with the wisdom that the enemies of the pious were not able to gain serve. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The godly and God-proclaiming Pamphilus, truly enriched to the name that was confirmed in truth, Preserve the bond of love for Christ unbroken even unto death. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Glorifying thee in all piety is the cloud that shined upon us with the sun of righteousness, the Father's only begotten Son. We continually call thee blessed, O all hymned Theotokos. Thy church rejoices in thee, O Christ our God, as she cries out in joy. Thou art my soul's steadfastness, my strength and my refuge art thou, O Lord. O holy martyrs, pray to God for us. Through true religion, thou was eminent indeed in word and in the solemn anointing of the priesthood, O Pamphilus, divinely wise martyr of Christ. O holy martyrs, pray to God for us. When you were struck, you became an altogether beautiful liar, O martyrs of Christ tunefully resounding with strains of confession. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. You pressed towards the mark of the heavenly and holy calling, and as victors you received a crown from the Master. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. He that abides in the highest dwelled among us, O all pure virgin, for he wondrously took flesh unto himself from thee, and clothed himself therewith. Despite the fearful tortures laid out before them, the Lord's courageous and illustrious athletes rejoiced together with a great and fearless mind. For they paid the flesh no heed while experiencing torments, hence they have inherited praise and glory eternal. And they forever intercede for us, who laud their contests and wrestlings with songs and hymns. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O Theotokos, we, thine unworthy servants, shall not fall silent from extolling thy mercies with our whole heart, O Lady, and with thankfulness, crying out and saying thus, O thou all-holy virgin, from our unseen enemies do thou make haste to save us, and from necessities and from all harm, for thou art truly our helper and strong support. When the church beheld thee, the Son of Righteousness lifted up upon a cross, she stood still in her course, crying, as was meet, Glory to thy power, O Lord. O holy martyrs, pray to God for us. The choir of thy martyrs, O Master, which by thy providence was equal in number with the apostles and the prophets, was also adorned with the divine gift. O holy martyrs, pray to God for us. Brought together from diverse walks of life, you are deemed worthy to preserve the entire church's image in little, while crying out, Glory to thy power, O Lord. Holy martyrs, pray to God for the us. The villainies and devices of the tyrants could not bend, nor the pains of torment soften. The athletes, as they eagerly cried, 
Glory to thy power, O Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Guided by the hand of the Master, who suffered a voluntary death for their sakes, the all-famed company of martyrs cried out, Glory to thy power, O Lord. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Instructed by the divine prophecies concerning the Orthodox, and beholding the outcome thereof, we who have been ransomed by thy child cry to thee, Rejoice, O all blameless virgin. Thou, my Lord, art come a light into the world, a holy light, turning from dark ignorance them that praise thee with faith. O holy martyrs, pray to God for us. Nor enduring to put thy trust in earthly things, O Pamphilus, thou mayst the God inspired life that Thou lest from childhood to shine gloriously in contact. O holy martyrs, pray to God for us. Adorned with godly grey hairs and with understanding, Valens, who hailed from the holy city, was crowned as a martyr. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Since thou, as Paul's namesake, hadst the mind of Christ o all acclaimed, Thou strove lawfully and art adorned with a martyr's cross. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Thou didst set a right Eve's fall, O pure one, when thou gavest birth to God the Word, who set a right the fall of them that were broken down. I will sacrifice unto thee with a voice of praise, O Lord. Thus Christ the Church unto thee, for by the blood that flowed from thy side because of thy compassion, she has been cleansed of demons' core. O holy martyrs, pray to God for us. Made steadfast by the hopes of eternal life, O Saviour, the valiant namesakes of thy divine prophets gladly endure the rackings of their body. O holy martyrs, pray to God for us. Samuel and Elias, Daniel and divine Jeremiah, and with them, as they as great of fame, have purchased with their death the more excellent life. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Egypt, which in time past was enshrouded with the deepest darkness of ignorance, now causes shining lamps to rise up unto God, for she has abounded with the splendor of divine knowledge. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Daniel saw thee as a mountain, O all blame. Nameless one, wherefrom was cut a stone that has broken to pieces every image of deception, and has filled all the ends of the world with the true knowledge of God. In thee who didst love the Saviour Christ divine commands, the faithful have found a healer most beloved of Christ. For this cause we bless thine august and ever venerable festival. O noble-minded Pamphilus, cease never to intercede for us all. Behold, the light bringing and brightly beaming and divine memorial of the steadfast contender Pamphilus, the divine herald, has shone forth in splendor, illuminating the eyes and hearts of all men with a light that has no evening. With exceeding joy, ye feast lovers, Come, let us run together to crown his divine day with songs as a fair yearly festival, blessing and praising the Lord who has worthily crowned him. For he never ceases to make intercession for all of us. For he never ceases to make intercession for all of us. A flame with love of piety rather than with fire, the Abrahamite children in the Persian furnace cried out, Blessed art thou in the temple of thy glory, O Lord. O holy martyrs, pray to God for us. For seeing with a broad countenance and clarity of mind the joy that awaited thee, O all blessed martyr Porphyrius, thou did scorn the torments, even when being scraped without mercy. Holy martyrs, pray to God for us. The God that saved the three children in the furnace verily received thee as a most fragrant sacrifice, O Porphyrius, 
was made, a whole burnt offering in the fire for his sake, O blessed prize winner. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Adorner, strength of soul and body, O all acclaims the lurkers, thou didst cast down all the might of the tyrant, while crying out, Blessed art thou, my God and Lord. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. As thee, thou talkest, thou art fairer than all creation, for thou art truly become the all holy dwelling place of God. Blessed art thou among women of all blameless ladies. When Daniel stretched out his hands in the den, he shut the gaping mouths of the lions. And the children, those lovers of piety, who were girt about with virtue, quenched the might of fire as they cried, O all ye works of the Lord, bless ye the Lord. O holy martyrs, pray to God for us. Complying with the law of Christ, thou didst lay aside all things, O most wise Seleucus, and while being a soldier, thou becames also a teacher of piety, diligently caring for the widows and the orphans, and crying out, O all you works, praise you the Lord. O holy martyrs, pray to God for us. Shining with noetic splendor, O glorious elder and martyr Theodulus, thou became the true servant by imitating thy master. For longing after his cross, thou didst joyously endure, crying out, O all you works, bless you the Lord. We bless Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, the Lord. Manifested as a temple of the Divine Spirit, O Julian, thou was adorned with goodness of character, and being filled with piety and meekness, thou didst prove to be filled with faith as well when thou wast sacrificed as a whole burnt offering while crying out, O all you works, bless you the Lord. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. The word who was formerly motherless from the Father thereafter became fatherless from thee, O all pure one. And he that formerly was bodiless became incarnate, having willed in his compassion to save them that chant, O all you works of the Lord, bless you the Lord. When Christ the chief cornerstone not cut by the hand of man was cut from thee the unhewn mountain, O virgin, he joined together the separated natures, wherefore we magnify thee with rejoicing, O Theotokos. O holy martyrs, pray to God for us. Since you long to possess no save the life in heaven, O prize winners, you valiantly disdained all that belongs to this life subject to death and decay, and now you enjoy that nobler delight and blessedness. O holy martyrs, pray to God for Within us. Within the divine meadow, now you ardently dance for joy in the presence of the fountain of effulgencies, O glorious martyrs, and drawing forth radiant beams therefrom, you shine exceedingly bright. O holy martyrs, pray to God for us. Cleansed by the divine word from the stains of your souls, and having through torment stripped off the coats of skin, you have been clad with the all-majestic garment of salvation. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Keep now in remembrance all who faithfully keep your all-celebrated remembrance, O twelvefold choir, and entreat Christ the Master that we be deemed worthy of a habitation with you. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. As the mother of the only Master, O Virgin Mary, thou became higher than all creatures, wherefore, O all blameless one, we the faithful ever rejoice to magnify thee in hymns of praise. Thy martyrs, O Lord, in their courageous contest for thee, received as the prize the crowns of incorruption and life from thee, our immortal God. For since they possessed thy strength, they cast down the tyrants and wholly destroyed the demon's strengthless presumption. O Christ God, by their prayer save our souls, since thou art merciful. Wisdom, most holy mother of God, save us. More honorable than the cherubim and beyond compare, more glorious than the seraphim, thee who without corruption gave us birth to God the Word, 
the very Theotokos the do we magnify. Glory to you, Christ, God, O hope, glory to you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Holy Father, bless. May Christ, O true God, the prayers of his holy and all pure mother, with the prayers of St. John the Baptist of the Holy and All Praised Apostles, with the power and under the protection of the Holy Life Giving Cross and all the Holy Bodiless Powers of Heaven, with the prayers of our fathers among the saints in Ninian and Cuthbert, the bishops of God, Cisarius the Great, Brandon the Navigator, Oran of Iona, Columba of Iona, Kenneth, Ronan, Molwag, all the saints of all these islands, protectors of our monastery and our community. And the prayers of the holy martyrs, Pamphilus, Valens, Paul, Seleucus, Porphyrius, Julian and Theodulus, together with Elias, Jeremiah, Isaiah, Samuel and Daniel of Egypt, all of whom were martyred in Caesarea of Palestine. With the prayers of the holy martyrs of Martyropolis in Persia, and our righteous father Marutas, bishop of Martyropolis, who raised up the city named for the martyrs. With the prayers of our righteous father Flavian, with the prayers of our father among the saints Flavian the Confessor, Patriarch of Constantinople, with the prayers of the holy new righteous martyr Romanus of Constantinople, with the prayers of Saint Gavrok and all of those with them whose memory we keep this day, with the prayers of the holy ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, and of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us. He's good and he loves mankind. Amen. For the prayers of our Holy Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy upon us and save us. Amen.